Hey, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to play Railroad Inc. along with the river and lake expansions. In Railroad Inc., up to six players compete to make the best transportation network by rolling the dice and drawing routes. So let's jump into the game and see how to play. To make the best transportation network, you must connect as many exits around the edge of the board as possible. You'll also get points for your longest highway and railway, any route drawn in the center nine squares. You will lose points for any incomplete routes. The stars for the expansion, which we will cover later. First, let's focus on the base game on drawing routes. At the start of every round, one player rolls the four route dice. When drawing routes, it must connect to one of the exits or an existing route. You must draw all four on your turn if possible. A railway and a highway can only be connected using the stations. You may reverse the dice in any way you wish. Let's take these four dice as an example. I could draw this T-junction like this. Or like this. Or even like this. If I was to use these other three dice and draw them like this, it is important to note for the end of game scoring, that the overpass does not connect up this exit with this exit. Finally, you have six special routes at the top of your board. You may draw one per round to a maximum of three over the course of the game. You can only use each one once, so it's important to mark it off whenever you use one. Now let's take a closer look at scoring using a game I played earlier. First we score up all of our networks. I have one network with two exits, and my other network has eight exits. That gives me a total of 4 plus 28, which is 32. Next, my longest highway is 9 segments long. You score 1 point per segment, so that's 9 points. I have two railways, which are 8 in length. You only scored once, so that's 8 points. I have drawn 5 routes in the center, you get 1 point per route, so that's 5. Finally, for each route that does not connect to an exit or the edge of the board, you get minus 1 point. I have 4, so I get minus 4. Finally, you total up all of your points, and the player with the highest score wins. Now that you know how to play the standard game, let's take a look at rivers. This expansion adds two extra dice that you roll along with the four root dice each round. Unlike the standard game, this game now lasts six rounds instead of seven. Now let's take a closer look at the rules for drawing rivers. Unlike routes, rivers do not need to connect to an existing river or a route. For example, I could draw this bridge here. Using the river dice is also optional and on your turn you can draw one, both, or none of the dice. At the end of the game, any end of a river which does not connect to the edge of the board counts as an incomplete route. When scoring your river, you choose one, and you get one point for each square it passes through, and three points if both ends touch the edge of the board. For example, this river would score six points. Three points for the three squares it passes through, plus three more points since both ends touch the edge of the board. And that's all you need to know to use the river expansion. Now let's look at the lake expansion. As with rivers, a game using the lake dice lasts only six rounds. When drawing lakes, they work similar to rivers, such as they do not have to be connected to an existing lake or route. Drawing lakes is also optional and you can draw as many or as few as you wish on your turn. However, at the end of the game, any open lake sides do not count as an incomplete route. If at any time a square is surrounded by three open sides of a lake, it immediately becomes water. For scoring at the end of the game, any exits that are connected to the same lake will appear kind of connected together. Finally, you score one point for each square that your smallest lake occupies. And that's all you need to know to play Railroad Inc. along with the river and lake expansions. 
if you would like to play along with me and see if you can be my score, keep an eye on this channel and I will upload a play along video sometime in the future.